Phlebotomy is um, drawing blood, but it also involves all the fluids of the body. You may work in a doctor's office where you do strep throat or pregnancy test. You may work at a dermatologist where you're helping with scrapings of fingernails or hair or wound cultures. Uh, you could work at a GYN office where you're just taking care of pregnant ladies, or you could be in dialysis with your uh, kidney patients. So it offers a wide variety. Some people like to work with children. Some people like to work with the elderly. And when we send you out to do clinicals, you get a little taste of everything to try to find out what your niche is and where you want to end up at. I did my clinical with the Franklin County EMS. Um, I got to ride on with my daddy. He's the um, supervisor up there. So I got to ride around with him and go to um, different calls and stuff like that. Um, help out with different patients, loading them up and doing different things like that. Um, they actually kind of showed me the technique of starting IVs and doing stuff like that and had a great time. We strongly urge you to go on and take a national board. Some hospitals may still not require that, but the trend is going toward that, that they prefer not to hire you if you haven't met the standard of competency with the national board. Our local area hospitals will hire a phlebotomist right at Advance Granville if they take a board within three months. My students have a very high rate of passing the national board because all of my tests come, for that, come from that bank of questions. We had a fantastic teacher. You can't ask for better than that. She gives you complete confidence in yourself. You're gonna stick somebody with a needle and yet you feel on the first day like you can't fail and you're gonna be the best at it. So she was fantastic. If anyone comes to me and asks me about phlebotomy, I will tell them, take it at Vans Grandma on the um, Miss Hardy, cause she's just a, great, just a great instructor. I mean, she takes her time with her students. She loves her students, she cares for them. She can make sure you got it right. Miss Fiducia Hardy, she is a very good teacher and if anybody wants to do phlebotomy, she, they need to come to Vance Grandma to her because she will make sure you are comfortable, she'll give you confidence, she will give you what you need to get where you need to go. Well, previously we've had the phlebotomy program at the main campus of Vance Granville Community College, and we felt that there might be a real need to move it somewhere else and um, see what kind of response we got. So we did start the first class here at the Warren campus on October the 9th, we have some people that are coming from Virginia that may not have taken the program if they had to go all the way to the main campus. It was better for me at the Warren campus because I live in Virginia and that saved me like 35 minutes of driving going all the way to the main campus. It's not unusual for somebody to take the class who has no experience in health care. What we're finding on the first day when we introduce ourselves to each other that many people have worked in factories they've closed down, they've gone overseas, and now they have an opportunity to learn another skill. It lasts three months. It's real intense and condensed because they take in a lot of information, but how many things can you take in three months and you're ready to get a job? 